Hi everyone, so this is my smaller pieces of crystals. Um, it's not a very extensive collection, but I do like it very, very much. Um, so let's uh, start with uh, one of my favorites, which is this white crystals. It's like a stalactite kind of thing. Um, I don't know why the camera is not focusing. Like very, very tiny pieces of crystals absolutely beautiful it reminds me of the superman film um, very very shiny and iridescent so this is one of my favorites but you have to be so careful because the edges are really really sharp the next one that i have i think this is very unique um, it is like an agate, a uh, milky type of agate and there is like a growth in it I like a, um, I like this piece because it reminds me of like a jelly <laughs> so I've got this milky one and then I've got this this one which is very very interesting it also reminds me of some sort of food like the uh, Japanese sweet um, it's in like a light purple color and it's like opaque and then it's got this pink uh, growth in it that's like a, I don't know how to describe it's like a coral colored uh, it's very very beautiful and special different so this again together with this and it makes a delightful sound like a gin rami kind of sound <laughs> um, I've also got this one which is also like some kind of Japanese sweet I can't remember what you call them it's like very very sweet so and then the sound of it is like when those people are playing gin rami and I've got this agate as well which is like um, light creamy color um, it's got this uh, speckly shiny bits in the middle I like it because it's sort of like a cave shape and we have something in the middle which is very unique and I love the color it's very soothing I always like this sort of a milky whitish color and then the next one that I've got I've got this um, see-through uh, right at the bottom is very very clear and then on top of it is milky um, I like this very very much whenever um, I put it nearby I always feel very very calm and clear headed when I am near this crystal and then I've got this ametrine which is like an amethyst plus the ametrine bits in it if you can see it um, so this is really interesting as well um, I, I've done a lot of reading and then I realized that um, citrine is actually amethyst being heated up so this one I'm, this one uh, these two rocks are very very special to me um, I'm sure it's some sort of a raw form of crystal which has not been um, polished because the grey bits of it is very sparkly and uh, this one as well it's got some sparkly bits in the stone these two stones are very very special to me because it came from our estate we had a cocoa estate and sadly we had to let it go so before we did that i went to the riverbed because we had a lot of rivers in in the land and i kept a few rocks as a memento of that place which is one of the saddest things that i have ever had to do in my life but um, life is what it is so um, these two although it looks very rough and nothing really special to other people but to me it has great sentimental value this one I can't remember what it is called but if you look in the middle of it there is some crystal and it's really really shiny so I'm always fascinated when I have a look inside of it very special um, sparkly bits inside of it 
so that's why I said crystal in the raw form is like this and then when you polish it up there is some on the camera is not really picking it up there is some crystals inside there very sparkly and shiny this as well I'm not so sure maybe it's called an adventuring or something and this another one I got at the same time as this you can see there's shiny crystals inside see if the camera can go further in you can see the shine inside of it sparkling um, same as this so I don't know whether you can see the sparkle of this crystal now because it wasn't really concentrating in the beginning of the video and this celestite I have already featured it I think in my not so sure whether I featured it before but I always put this on my work table at home it's really really calming and soothing um, I had a uh, celestite in my shop as well previously and every time I have this stone around I feel really really soothed and uh, calm um, sort of like a calming stone even the color of it is really really pretty and very very soothing light blue color uh, always let me think of angels I don't know why um, and then over here I've got this um, very special um, rock I don't really dare to take it out because it's got jagged edges and you can easily hurt yourself but you can see all around it's got all sorts of shades of uh, pink on it I'm not so sure whether they use glue and then just tuck it all together um, it's got very very jagged edges um, let me see whether I can focus and you, you can see the different colors the pale pinks it is not pure white it is pale pink um, absolutely beautiful I put this in a glass cabinet because it will be a nightmare to clean this and it's extremely dangerous because as I said it's really jagged so and this one I think a few of the stones came off already this one I got this um, oh the name came out I'm not so sure what you call this but I got this because um, this black bits of it reminds me of the cherry blossom and I got this actually close to uh, Chinese New Year a few years couple of years back so this is really special I keep this if you've seen my videos together with the pictures of my late parents at the um, uh, dining room cabinet and I've got this uh, beautiful labradorite um, a certain angle you can see the iridescent blue coming through uh, thank god the camera is picking up on the blue so if you see certain angles of it it's like the butterfly blue and it's got the veins on it really really pretty let's see if it's against this whether it will contrast yeah this is really really special because it's really tiny shards of um, crystal very sharp and very crystalline and clear against this cobalt blue like it reminds me of the butterfly wings so I got this because it's sort of like reminds me of a, like a mini boulder kind of thing um, and then I can sort of like put something on top as a display um, it would be nice I actually put this in my um, office my workplace but I got it back recently um, this is just a normal crystal as well I've completely forgotten the name of it uh, many many years ago I think nearly easily uh, maybe seven years ago when I had the boutique I had this in my boutique as well 
I always like this sort of a white color kind of shade and the final one is quite hefty I think I did um, feature this in my um, large crystal collection video um, but I thought I would um, take it out again because it's got this small small flecks of um, light pink crystal which may not have been so visible in that video because I'm doing a close-up of all the crystals yeah, and it, this is pretty small so I, I find that this is extremely uh, beautiful different different types of pink crystals growing on it um, this again reminds me of the Superman crystal as you know by now I think most of my crystals the big ones or the small ones oh I've got the name here is called Apophyllite um, extremely beautiful Oh yeah, I forgot. This is also a snowflake obsidian that I've got a um, couple of years back. I hope that um, you enjoyed watching this video on my crystal collection. Um, so. I would highly appreciate it if you will like, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, please check out my other videos. Thanks so much for dropping by and I'll see you again. Bye!